What's up, my dudes? Out here grinding like it's my first day, dog. So we got whatever this next milestone game is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be MXGP 2020. I have no idea what the real like name of it is or whatever. And by the way, this is some MXGP 2019 gameplay. Don't throw up in your mouth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anyways, let me get this in this camera. Uh, so yeah. I made a little video on this, like, you know, this MXGP 2020 whatever game about three or four months ago. But now that Supercross 3 has come out, I feel like it's kind of changed everything a little bit. Like, as far as what I think that this new Milestone game could really be like and sort of my hopes for it and everything like that. Everything's sort of warped and changed a little bit with how different... Supercross 3 really ended up being compared to some of these older milestone games. I mean, when you go back and play these games now, it, it is so laughable at how shitty and basic and like arcadey these physics were. It, it is so laughable, dude. Oh my word. Like, it's just crazy. But either way, uh, yeah, so. And this is something I had just recently talked about here, but. Isn't it kind of weird how it almost seems like Milestone has two different areas of their studios that works on their Supercross games and then the people that work on their MXGP games? I mean, at least to me, that's what it seems like. They're not as like coherent and working together as it might seem like you would think that they would be, right? So... What I mean by that, <clears throat> let me clear this little tickle out of my throat, boys. Um, what I mean by that is, you know how like the first Supercross game came out, right? Which was pretty different than MXGP3, okay? And then they go to MXGP Pro, which is completely different than the first Supercross game. You know, they try to start going down those like more realistic feelings of the bike and bullshit like that. We all saw what that turned out to be. Basically just the most like wannabe arcade simulator janky ass physics you've ever seen in a motocross game in your life, right? Which I was also saying all that back when MXGP Pro first came out. Um... It just absolutely very weird the directions they went with MXGP Pro. And then Supercross 2 came out, kind of revived the whole series again, kind of went a little more back to how the first Supercross game felt, but then still had more skill gap, more depth to the rhythms and stuff like that. But then they go right back to the MXGP series with MXGP 2019, and it's like they just go backwards again. It's so weird. It's like they take a step forward with their Supercross games and then take a step backwards with their MXGP games. And then they never really get anywhere, right? But now, with Supercross 3, now that they've got the, you know, they're under the same parent company as MX or ZTV and all that, now they finally seem to have taken, like, two steps forward in one game. At least that's the way I look at it. Like, I feel like the first Supercross game is average. MXGP Pro is below average. Supercross 2 is slightly above average, like a 6. And MXGP 2019 is way below average, like a 2. Okay. And Supercross 3 is like pretty solid, like, you know, 8 overall solid. So I hate to say it, but there's just something in the back of my mind that has this feeling like. This next MXGP game from Milestone is not really going to be quite on the level of Supercross 3. I don't know why. I mean, you just look through the history books and they just never really have been. Like, MXGP Pro wasn't on the level of the first Supercross game. Um, MXGP 2019 certainly wasn't on the level of the second Supercross game, right? So they've just had this weird vibe of like going backwards when they go back to these MXGP games and... But something interesting to talk about now that we finally got the track editor with MXGB 2019, even though it was a piss poor wannabe motocross track editor, right? With the no pre-made roughness, no pre-made ruts. Yeah, it was cool. You had a couple of areas to make your custom tracks on and stuff. But man, I feel like we expected so much more out of the, 
the motocross track editor of MXGB 2019. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm just, it will be interesting to see the more like inertia vibe physics with Supercross three and just the, uh, you know, the more free whip system and the whole nine yards of it in more of a full blown motocross style game. And it, you know, I feel like, you know how they've really advanced like the rhythm skill gap and all that, the on track designs and stuff of Supercross three would it be really interesting if they finally start giving you the true like hardcore pre-made roughness that you can actually wreck on on the motocross tracks of this new MXGB 2020 whatever game or if they actually start giving you like solid like three or four inside ruts in some of the corners and some bigger jumps that's always been a big issue with their MXGP games the jumps just don't feel big at all on any of the tracks um you know no pre-made ruts no pre-made roughness if they can really start getting that vibe down with just a similar feel of that Supercross 3 vibes physics, whoo, they could definitely get it going, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, legit Ric Flair drip go whoo on the bitch, you know what I'm saying, Doug? Like, they could really get it going if they had all that like that, but we'll just have to wait and see, but... Yeah, and then, you know, you would just assume they would also have the track editor in there, and you would just assume it would be better than what it was in... MXGB 2019, these are all just things you would, ex would you know, assume. You would assume they might have, like, maybe finally put two different compounds when the game first comes out instead of one really shitty one. You might think maybe they might do that with MXGP 2020. I don't know, dog. We'll just have to wait and see. And, of course, what we all really just want is a Lucas Oil official pro motocross video game. I mean, let's just be honest right now. That's what we all really want. Um, if there is any way in God's name possible, you could get that done at some point, Milestone. That would be fucking legendary, but I don't know if you can ever do it. I don't know if the licensing of having the Supercross game is kind of holding you back from doing it. I'm not sure all the specifics of it or whatever. And then, of course, you know, a lot of people on the internet like to act like they're experts on all of it and they know everything, but really, unless you're working literally inside of Milestone, you probably don't really know if they can or can't do that or why they can or can't do that. You might have your little opinions on it, but you don't know for sure, right? Because, I mean, they can always work out different deals and shit, and I don't know. I just think they would make so much more money coming out of the Lucas Old Pro Motocross game versus a, another MXGP game. Let me just fall asleep. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, and then this is just another example right here. You know, this one Supercross track in the entire MXGP 2019, in 2019 game is one of the most piss poor Supercross tracks you've ever seen in your life on any of these milestone games. Um, like, come on now, it, it, would it really hurt you to put two or three Supercross tracks in the next MXGP game? Would that really hurt? No, it wouldn't. It would only make the game better. It would only make the game have more longevity. And that's going to be interesting. You know how they did all these, uh, like eight outdoor Supercross test training compound Supercross tracks on Supercross 3 to give you that next level layer of content and stuff. wonder what they'll do like that in their next MXGP game. Like, what are they going to do? Is it going to be like a whole trail series? Is it going to be like just random custom like training motocross tracks? You know, kind of like the vibe of like a baker's factory you know motocross you know they did like a lot of the supercross training compound areas for supercross three you wonder if they'd do like motocross compound training areas for supercross or i mean it makes you be 2019 which of course it would take a lot more work to do full-blown like training motocross tracks so you wouldn't have as many of them like the full-blown eight training compounds like you have in supercross three but still man if you just had like three or four of those like training motocross tracks on top of all the standard mxgp tracks of the game whoo that would definitely help the game quite a bit for sure but yeah i don't know i just really hope they stick to their guns with this whole new inertia vibe skill gappy but not mxgp pro janky physics system that they have in supercross 3 i hope they carry that over i hope they don't try to backtrack too much and revert and make it like some super arcadey easy first Supercross game bullshit feeling to it or, or not try to make it too janky like MXGP Pro, you know. They've got a really cool balance going on with Supercross 3 and I really hope they stick to that. But 
They they just need some polish, right? It doesn't need any big. I feel like the physics don't really need any big changes now. They just need the little polishing touches, you know. They just need the little TLC, the little micro adjustments to really give you that amazing on the level of reflex motocross game physics filling wise. And uh, I think it'll be really cool if they can pull that off. But yeah, at some point they're going to start running into that whole issue of like, yeah, you could get the really good physics side of everything going, but then it's like, well, then how much really track content do you have in these motocross games, you know? And then it goes into everything else and a brother when it comes to all that, because then you got to have a really solid track editor and all these other things and like a trail series or a, you know, something else in there. It'd be cool if they, you know, kind of broke out of the box with some different bikes in MXGB 2020, like maybe a throwback 500 two-stroke or like a, 50 cc bike just to fuck around on or something that'd be cool but uh yeah i was not too impressed with this compound on mxgb 2019 shit was just boring to me really like the motocross track on this track was boring as hell i enjoyed the little motocross track on the supercross threes compound way more than i did this piece of shit like this whole game to me is just boring like milestones got to get away from that where you're just on the gas everywhere and don't even have to use your brain at all and you just ride around every track you know and i think they'll really start doing that they have started already doing that with supercross through at the physics side but if they can really start getting that roughness where you really got to have skill to gas it all the way through a corner or you might actually wreck on braking bumps or acceleration bumps or kickers on jump faces or ruts pre-made ruts in the corner you know give the corners some depth to them you know, these are all things they've just been so desperately needing in their outdoor motocross games this entire time that Milestone has been making these games. They've just been so lackluster in the whole, like, real motocross, rough, rutted, you know, kicker, big jump. They've they've been missing out on that they, their whole entire careers of making motocross outdoor games. And basically, they've been missing out on the, the whole, like, with their Supercross games, they've been missing out on the big lines, skill gappy rhythms, difficult whoop sections. You know, they've been kind of missing out on that whole side of everything. So, But they're starting to get more of that with Supercross 3, so it'll be interesting if they can start to get more of these things we've wanted to make their motocross tracks more skill gapped in mxgb 2020 i don't know definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think we're going to see on this but it definitely has my hopes higher than what it was now with getting supercross 3 definitely has have my hopes a little bit higher than what they were but i don't know i just don't know because from what we've seen thus far seems like their mxgp games always take a bit of a step backwards so not really sure, at least in, since they started coming out with the Supercross games. You know, obviously, MXGP3 wasn't a terrible game or anything like that. But, um, yeah, we'll just have to see, dog. I don't know. This is an interesting time for Milestone. I feel like it's they're either going to really turn it into something, like, just crazy amazing. Or they're just going to kind of backtrack and be stuck in a rut forever. You know, I think that this is their moment. Supercross 3 was a really good look. It was a really good step forward. Um, so if they can keep up that momentum, they definitely got something cooking here for sure. So either way, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Don't forget, if you want to get in my Discord, just DM me on Instagram at Spencer Turley, no spaces and no capital letters. I'll get you my Discord. If you want to get on my MX Simulator team or my Supercross 3 team or anything like that, just get in my Discord, and I'll get you in the team tryout role, and that's how you get in on all that action. So, yeah, Doug, appreciate all the support. We out here grinding, baby. I'm just blind grinding now, Doug. It's just like putting in the work. We're going to get a lot of cool videos coming really soon, though. i got a lot of custom tracks, a lot of stuff coming. So, um, got some real-life stuff coming as well. So, be a good old time, boys. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you. We'll be back on that next video.